I'm a vintage home decor reseller and today I have a haul video for you. So you guys, this week was a thrifty week for like the record books. I still cannot believe all the luck I have. I have a like estate sale haul coming up to show you guys that I've had to split into two videos. I got so many things. Your hat, your brains are gonna explode with all the goodness that I'm gonna show you. But today's video too, I mean, you guys are gonna lose your mind. So I have a bunch of footage to show you from this epic trip that I took up to a very random place to shop for vintage brass. So you know, if you watch my channel, I love vintage brass. It's something I always like pick up. It's something I collect personally, it's something I sell. It sells really well for me. And so I was on Instagram. So let me tell you like the background story really quickly. So one of the local sellers that I love and follow, um, she posted like all of this brass that she had scored. And I just assumed it came from a sale that she had shopped like over the weekend and I had like missed it and whatever. And then she kind of alluded that it was like there was more there. And so I messaged her and I said, how do I get in on this action? Your haul is like amazing. And so she texted me the address of the place and this brass is in someone, some businesses waiting room. So they're liquidating a ton of brass for this collector. This man allegedly had been collecting for years, accumulated like thousands of pieces. And this is like all the stuff. So I'm going to show you footage from that epic sore through that I did. Um, so yeah, when she told me about it, it was like in the evening. So then I knew I was going to go make sure and go the next morning. So I almost didn't sleep. I was so excited. Then I called the business in the morning and said, Hey, can I come shop all this brass you have? They're like, yeah, come on, you know, come on whenever you want. And so I went and I shopped and it just, it was so epic. I cannot believe it. So yeah, so I have brass from that trip to show you. I have brass from another thing that I um, have forgotten to show you. And then I have a bunch of other like random stuff too. Oh, also that person collected tons and tons of carved wood and iron wood pieces too. So I have some of that to show you from that trip. So anyways, yeah, there's a lot. We have a lot to get into. So first I'm going to show you some of that footage because I just got to set you up for like this. It was insane. And then I'm going to come back here like usual, and I'm gonna let you know what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna sell in my Etsy shop. So let's get to that place where they have all the brass. pieces that I got at that place. I still cannot believe all the pieces. So uh, pricing there was pretty good. They were pricing by weight. Um, the ironwood pieces were a little bit more expensive than the brass pieces, which did not make sense to me because to me brass is a little bit more uh, valuable, but that's just what they did. So I, there was a lot there. There were a lot of amazing things there, but I have 
so much inventory. I had to be smart. I had to be smart about it. So I got pretty choosy and I found, I picked up things that I knew for sure, you know, were valuable and we're going to sell. So the first thing that I picked up, which I may not sell, I don't know. I, it just depends because it's not, so it's this big, huge brass pineapple. Now, this is probably the biggest one I have ever seen. These were a hot seller a few years ago. Like people lost their minds over them. Ooh, that was loud. Um, but then big box stores like Urban Outfitters, Home Goods, whatever, decided to start mass producing, um, you know, these again. And of course they're not like salad breasts like this because that just doesn't make sense these days. And so people kind of like, they were saturated, the market saturated. So people are a little less interested in these. Well, I say a lot less interested in these now. Like these used to be like flying out of Etsy shops. I would say they're sitting a little bit more, but because I've never come across one, this huge i had i had to, i had to pick it up so each of the pieces that i got from that trip uh the iron one and the brass like calculating out ended up being about four bucks a piece so obviously this was probably would have been more than that based on weight but just think of it like that four bucks a piece so i had to get this i don't know if i'm gonna sell it i have another one of these i love these i love the brass pineapple so i may keep it for my own collection but i just thought you know when you come across this i had to get it and bring it home the other things that I picked up, and so, so you might be a little, I don't want to tell you this, I don't want you to be like, I'm turning off this video. I did not pick up many brass things from that place, only because I tried to, like I said, be really choosy. So the things that I'm going to show you, there's actually not a ton, uh, but I do have a lot of iron wood that I picked up, but there is a lot of brass in this, so don't, don't feel sad. Don't turn me off yet. So the next things that I got brass-wise from that uh, very cool business um, where these brass apples. So this time of year, I always sell brass apples. I'm assuming it's because teachers, right? Giving them to teachers fall. I don't know. So this is a very common studded brass apple. Sometimes you can get like brass um, pears. They actually have one there. I didn't grab it because I didn't. I don't know. Like do people like pears. Um, but yeah, this I've sold this many times. It always sells well for me. It's just really kind of cool because. Like it's just literally all brass bobbles. And then this one, I've sold this before. It's a beautiful brass like trinket box here. So these always sell well. I may have already missed the boat in terms of people buying them for teachers or like whoever. So, but every year I sell them this time of year. So these will just sit until next year. So not a problem. So I got these, super excited to find them. Another thing that I got was this teeny tiny brass crane. Brass cranes are a hot ticket for me. Every time I list them, people lose their mind. They sell really fast. Um, they go really fast. So I was really excited to get this guy. It has a little bit of patina. Oh, I forgot to mention all of this brass. The brass at that place was so dingy and dirty. It's been in storage. Um, and so a lot of this stuff, it looks really shiny because I've already cleaned it up because I'm so excited. So anyways, this may already be sold by the time I do this video because I had someone waiting for us. So this may be sold. If not, it'll be listed down below. But yeah, I got this little guy. I decided to get a collection of little mini ones because I love anything mini. So these will be sold as like a set because they are just so cute. So I will, I'll pop some pictures on the screen like I usually do of like footage because I know sometimes it's not easy to tell, but all of them have like this edge detail. I love this one cause it's like very sculptural. And then this guy is like, look at that little ruffle. It's so cute. So the three of them together looks really special. So I'm gonna sell these as a pair or pair as a set. And then the final brass piece that I got at that place, but I have more brass, like I said, to show you. The final brass piece that I got um, was this vase. Now this, I am listing it, but I absolutely love it and know I'm gonna regret it deeply. <laughs> because look at all of that detail, the handles. It's just very, very cool. It kind of reminds me of an Italian piece of pottery that has been turned into a brass piece. Like it has that vibe to me. If anyone knows like Italian pottery, I just, I don't know why, but it definitely looks like that to me. If Italian pottery was made out of brass, this would be, well, then it wouldn't be pottery. <laughs> but anyways, I thought this was absolutely beautiful. This is like another like made in India piece. Uh, but yeah, very, very exquisite. Had to get this. Um, and now I'm going to move on to, because this is the last brass piece, I'm going to move on to um, the ironwood that I got when I was there. 
Okay, so ironwood is not something I usually pick up, mostly because anytime I find it um, at the thrift store, it's broken. <laughs> Or if I find it out in an antique mall, it's usually like pricey. It's something that is collectible. Um, people do really like it. So there were boxes and boxes of it. And I just, now my friend who's the reseller who went like the day before, um, she cleared out a lot of the really good, like ironwood. So, uh, but she didn't leave a few behind. And so I did get some like fun pieces. So I got these really cute like wooden or like ironwood birds. Now, I just thought they were just so sculptural. I mean, look at this like plume on the top. I'm gonna move to the side because it's so dark. You can like barely see it. But yeah, I just, ironwood is really, really beautiful. It's very weighty. It has this really deep, you know, wood tone, dark wood tone, and the carving is just really lovely. So I thought this was great. I fell in love with this cutie pie here. Really cute. I also got, um, a mini one here, which is adorable. And then I was a total dope. Oh my goodness. So I was too excited and I picked up one that ended up having a broken top. So he's supposed to look like this and I got him like this. So not like terrible, but I was so disappointed. It's not like it was expensive. So, um, but I may, I may bring it back with me if I were to go back up and shop again, say, hey, can I exchange this? Because I was a dope and I did not realize that it was broken. So anyways, not a big deal. The last like ironwood piece that I got was this very cool cactus. Now my friend, the reseller who told me about it, she scored some amazing like cactus, cacti, like awesome. So I was very happy that she left this one little guy behind. So very cute. So these will all be available in my Etsy shop. All of the brass will be available in my Etsy shop. It will kill me. And then the last two pieces that I got from that very random place, um, which you're gonna be like, why would you pick those up? And I don't know, it just, they spoke to me, were these carved wooden alligators. Now, this is not, I don't know why I did this, but, and then when I show you a haul um, coming up from an estate sale, I somehow managed to pick up another alligator. So I have accumulated three alligators in a week span. Having never ever picked one up before. So yeah, I thought this one was very cool. I mean, look at all of the carved detail on this. Really kind of cool. I thought it like a minimalist interior where, um, you know, it's like just blacks and whites and creams, uh, very sparse. Something like this, like a wood tone and something kind of long and sculptural would kind of look really cool in that setting. So that's kind of why I bought it. That's like the application I was thinking about it. And then this one is a little bit more rudimentary so you can kind of see like the difference in carving, very different. This was like if Picasso carved it, I think. Um, yeah, so I thought he was, so I found this guy first and then I found this guy. I don't know, they just spoke to me. So like I said, each piece is like four bucks. They weren't expensive, I don't know. There were so many things I could have bought. Oh, there were so many things I wanted to buy. So uh, anyway, so that is that part of the shopping trip. So that epic trip to that business. Um, this is the stuff that I got. But do not front, I have more things to show you. Okay, so here's a few pieces that I actually got out um, when I went to my local Goodwill. So things that I like, I could not believe I stumbled across. So the first thing, not super exciting, but for me who loves to style, um, it was these candles and they have like this beautiful, like classic, oh yeah, I was like, why didn't I take this off? Because I need to cut it off. Anyway, so it has an applique. I thought they were just really beautiful. I love the blue and the white. For style, I got these for styling. I thought that they were look really cool. So these were 99 cents for the pair. I'm definitely amassing a ton of candles now because I need them for styling. I sell a lot of candle holders and they're one of the staples in terms of styling like candles. So got these guys, I thought they were really pretty. And then the things that I was really excited about Every once in a while, I have like a premonition when I'm out thrifting. I'm like, I am going to find this today. Not like I'm willing it. Like I just know in my heart I'm going to going to find it. I wish this happened more often. But that day I was like, you know what? I'm going to find people figurines. I just know it. I can sense them in the store. And so lo and behold, I found these guys. So these um, are really popular right now. Um, people just think, I don't know, I've... If you've watched my channel, you know, I've always kind of thought that they were a little cheesy. I'm just like, oh, people and families. And then I became a family and I have a kid. And now I'm just like, anytime I see this stuff, I'm like, oh, they're, they're babies and they're all in love and they're family. And it's just so soppy. 
but I can't, I can't help it. So, um, so anytime I see these now, they're very popular and I also like pick them up. So this one is obviously like a parent or a caretaker and then they're like babies or family members. So, um, the, the, um, uh, stone is really, really pretty. I mean, look at these colors, like so pretty. So yeah, it's primarily like this neutral with this like pop and hint of color here. So really good shape, um, just has a teeny tiny little chip there. May have actually been done in the manufacturing or the, I say manufacturing, they were hand carved. May have been done when they were hand carved, but that's not a big deal because you can, you know, turn around whatever side you want. And then I also, got this one of two, I guess, lovers. I'm not sure. And this also has a lot of like visual interest in the stone and kind of cool um, veining. So yes, yeah, so these will be available in my Etsy shop. The candles I just showed you will not because I'm going to keep them for styling. And then we're going to move on to some stuff that I picked up. So near me, there is this like twice a year, little like antique, um, like pop-up that I go to. Uh, it's definitely very, very much like country, Americana, old school stuff, less like mid-century things that I'm, you know, usually shopping for, but I have scored Amazing Art there before. I usually find something. Now this year, unfortunately, it was like not, it was more holiday focused, so I didn't find as much stuff, but I did find a couple things. So the first things that I got, because it was like a holiday sale, were these brass deer candle holders. Now I'm gonna do probably like a holiday themed like drop of stuff because I know people are like planning. So I got these for that. Um, I was like tempted to keep them, but it's like how much holiday stuff does one need? I have so many bins, like I think I have like seven holiday bins. It's insane. Um, so anyways, so yeah, this fits like definitely a smaller size taper, like a vintage style taper. But I thought these were really pretty. It was $10 for the pair, which I thought was a great deal. So these will be available in my Etsy shop. I may hold off dropping them because I may do like, like I said, like an actual like holiday drop of a bunch of items to kind of like build some holiday buzz. But I thought these were really pretty. Had to get them at that little pop-up sale. I also got, where, oh, here it is. I also got this teeny tiny um, inlay trivet. If you watch my channel, you know, anytime I find these, you know, very reasonably priced, this was only $4, I pick them up because they always sell and especially like in sets. So usually what I do is I'll amass a few of them and then I'll sell them in a set uh, because alone it's like, hardly worth listing, <laughs> but as a set, they're a lot more valuable. So my mom actually found this one. They're made in India, just really, really pretty. They're either bone or shell inlay, sometimes they're gold inlay, but yeah, they're always, they're very popular because they're just really, really cool and, intri and uh, intricately carved. So I had to get this. And then the last item from that pop-up sale was this vintage set of candle holders. Now I thought this also could kind of not a little bit to the holiday based on like the colors because it actually was with a holiday display, although these are certainly all year round, but people love green right now. Uh, green is like the hot color. And so I thought these were like, you know, really cute. I thought they could go, you know, very much holiday or very much, you know, anytime. So very, very versatile piece. Um, there's a little bit of like flaking because they are um, so old, but I thought they kind of added the, the charm of the piece, you know, the patina. So this was, they were $3 a piece, so $6 for the pair. So these will be available in my Etsy shop and probably part of the holiday drop, even though they're not like strictly holiday, just to kind of build up. I don't pick up a ton of holiday stuff because so much of it is just like cheesy stuff that you probably got at the dollar store or Target. That's what I'm finding in the thrift stores. To find anything that's like truly of quality like those or like this are a little bit harder to, for me to find at least. So anyways, holiday drop coming soon. I have been collecting stuff through the year. Um, so yeah, so that is coming up. Okay, so um, a couple more pieces. So two things my mom actually picked up um, this week for me because my mom is shopping for me a lot right now. So she got, first off is this like Southwest style vase. I just thought the colors on this were very cool when she, um, when she sent me the picture. It is not particularly like you know, um, um, it, I think it's one of those pieces that maybe someone painted that was already like pre-made up. I don't know, like a paint, not a paint by number, but you know, one of those pottery places, but in like a long time ago, because look at the felt color and this coloring, this is not very common. So this is definitely like a vintage piece, but it may be like a vintage paint your own pottery, <laughs> like type piece from like a few decades ago. I just like the colors. I think for styling on a shelf, 
for styling purposes is what I'm, you know, accumulating a lot of props now because I'm doing more styling for these videos. I thought this was a very cool piece. It was definitely under $10. I want to say it was like $7. So I said, yeah, bring it home. I need like interesting pieces with interesting colors to kind of build out like my prop closet, um, which I'm sure you guys are like, really, you need more stuff to, for props, but you know, I got to keep it fresh for you guys. So I got to find like cool stuff. So the other pieces she got for me, which after I got it home, I'm like, why did I ever get this? But it's just kind of cool. I don't know. It went on camera when she was like panning across. This is how she shops for me. She goes to the store and she'll either like find stuff and send me pictures or she'll just be like, what are you doing? You want to watch me shop? And I'm like, sure. So I'll watch her shop and she'll pan across. So anyways, um, this is something that I was just like, Ooh, what is that? I like that. So on camera, it just looked really good. So I had her get it. It's just like one of those, um, like folk, um, you know, wood sculptural pieces. I thought it was really, really pretty. Actually. I just, I just thought it was really pretty. I even thought so far as like, you know what, if nobody, if this, I'm just not sure about it now that I saw, I'm not sure. Again, it was under $10. Um, so it was not like expensive. And so I thought, you know, at the very least, I always could like paint it if I kept it in like cool color. I don't know. But anyways, I thought it was beautiful. I think styled in the right setting. Um, I think it would look really, really neat. So it spoke to me. It's just, I know not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> so anyway, sometimes like that happens where like, it's like something you feel really passionate about in the moment while you're shopping. And then you bring it home. You're like, what, what was I thinking about doing with this? This is one of those pieces. But anyways, I still think it's very cool. Hopefully I'm not talking to anyone out of it. If you guys were like, oh, I like it. And then you hear me talking about it. I'm not sure. And now you're unsure. Hopefully that's not the case. But anyway, so this will be filled my Etsy shop. Um, this vase may or may not be available, like I said, because I want to use it kind of for props. So, um, so we'll see. But moving on, I'm just making sure, like I have not forgotten anything. Okay, so the last things I have to show you are a ton more brass, if you can believe it. So we're going to get to that right now. Okay. So a little bit backstory on this brass. So there was a very epic, um, estate sale, a few, um, this is, this has been a little while. This has been sitting in my, um, it's just, when you see how many pieces I got, you'll be like, I can see why you're overwhelmed. So there's a very cool estate sale in my area, um, recently that, I didn't end up getting a chance to go. I knew it was going to be heavily shopped by all of my reseller friends and competitors. So I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to bother going. But then curiosity got the best of me as I was seeing everyone's hauls. And I thought, you know what? I'll just go the last day. It's like half off day. So I go there thinking I'm not going to get anything. And the first thing I see is this brass tray for $14 and then half off that price. So seven bucks. So if you know me, you know, I sell a ton of these etched brass trays so you can see like the 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 scene in there like i sell a lot of these so i was just happy to find this because i thought that was very very lucky um and yeah no i kept finding more so not only was the, there a lot of it but it was all in really good shape so i don't even have to like really shine this stuff up because the patina is good so i got this piece um and then i found these two pieces, which look at the detail and the shape and the feet on this. This sucker is so heavy, but you can see the seam in the center and all the detail on the side. So I like, I was like, huh, okay, bringing this home too. So each of these pieces was um, like the, that tray was 14, um, the one I just showed you. And then everything else was under $10 like priced, which means it's half off in that. So some of the stuff I got for like two, three bucks. I mean, I, I think I spent $37 total on all of these brass pieces, which is just insanity. Um, because these things go for like something like this, I'd probably list for like 48 or $58. I'm not even kidding. That's, that's how amazing this like hall of brass was. So I got this piece. I got, this one is also very heavy and has very cool feet. My favorite is probably this one because it has the very cool edge and center, another pedestal bowl, which is awesome. And then I got a ton of like this size. So these are like bowls like this and they have the Chinese characters in the center. So I got one, two, three, like, yeah, this one was marked $3 and it was 
like $1.50. If I were to find this at the, at the Goodwill, they probably would have priced it like $7. I'm not even kidding. So I got this one. I got this one, which was awesome, which I thought was really great. And then I got oh, more. And I got this one. And then this one. And then finally, um, this one. So some of these are... Like these ones, they were like in a pile, and so they were um, a little bit dirty. So I may clean these ones up, but they were like, yeah, two dollars a piece, like two. Insane. So anyway, so yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven things for thirty-seven dollars. I mean, that's insane. So yeah, I was really, really shocked. I could not believe it. So anyways, the lesson in this is that always go to the sale. Always go to the last day because. You just never know. So I am probably one of the only resellers out of the ones that I know that hit like the state sales really hard that picks up brass. They just, they're just, oh, sorry, brass trays like this. The rest are picking up different items. Um, they have very specific aesthetics. And so this brass is not necessarily part of their aesthetic because most of them are shopping for like booths. Um, where, you know, I'm just shopping for my Etsy shops. I can be a little bit more. I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking I have a fairly clear point of view on the stuff that I pick up. But generally speaking, you know, if it speaks to me, it's going to come into my shop if I think I'm going to sell it. So I just could not believe no one else got this brass. I just don't like it. It's like, like it blows my mind. So very, very lucky. So anyways, so to sum up, always go, even if you know it's been shot by, um, other people, other resellers, other dealers, other competitors, like in the space, you know, we're all, a lot of us are looking for similar stuff, but there's always like the nuances that um, are what differentiate us. And usually you, they, they leave that stuff behind. So um, yeah, just like my reseller friend who told me about all of that brass and Ironwood at that place, like she left behind stuff that like she didn't pick up the apples, but the apples for me, like online in my Etsy shop, definitely are a hot seller. So anyways, Lessons there, especially if you're a reseller, you know, just always go, especially the last day when it's half off. So anyways, that's all I have to show you. So hopefully it was like a good size haul. Hopefully you enjoyed the footage from that place. I'm hoping to get up there again if they ever post more stuff because, um, yeah, you know me, I love my brass. So I'm hoping that there's more brass like that in my future. But next the next week videos that you're gonna see because actually today i'm filming three videos this is like video one of like a crazy filming day i have two more videos i'm gonna, gonna film for you i have literally stuff here i'm not gonna show you because i have to keep a secret but the next hauls i'm gonna show you are gonna literally blow your mind so you're definitely not gonna want to miss them okay so that's all i have for you today thank you so much for watching you know if you're not following me on instagram make sure you check me out there because i do like a lot of behind the scenes footage i do sneak peeks of the haul stuff before i uh, makes it in my videos here on youtube i do styling tips and tricks so yeah if that's the type of content you're interested in definitely check me out on instagram thanks again for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video take care